you do it so much that the stupid family did a freaking Instagram post about it. It was funny. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. If you need some Corbin, I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. More juicy content, it's juicy. And we're juicy. 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 on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, camera, you've got a lot of case. Squad. Bye. Also on oh. personal YouTube channels. Links right down there for you. That went far. I know it did. And uh, today, we're doing a movie review. You sweet little chitlins. Uh, yeah. Uh, of our first Punjab movie. That's true. How exciting. It's true. Uh, and that's what I'm pulling up here is it, my notes. It took us a while, uh, a while to get here. We're sorry. But like I said, I've made a conscious effort to try to get to as many regions and try to represent as many regions as possible. Uh, but we can only do it so fast. <laughs> but this one won the polls by miles. Yes. By miles on Twitter, YouTube, Patreon, all of them. Uh, this won by a mile. But it's Punjab. 1984, during time of political turmoil, a mother goes on a journey in search of her missing son, who has been missed, has been misjudged and labeled a terrorist. Yes. Uh, directed by our Anirag, right? An Anirag Singh? Yeah, Anirag Singh. Who, he did Kasari, that's right. Yes, he's the director of Kasari. And when, when was this again? This was 2014. So okay, 14. so this was a five year prior. Yes. Got it. Um, Let's see, hold on. And then, I'm trying to see if there's any other notables in the, the making, but obviously, <laughs> Delgit, uh, this is our first outside, uh, this is our first Punjab, obviously, of him, which is where he's mainly known, but we saw him in, I think it was Uta Punjab? Uta Punjab. Right, that was it? Was that the one where he was the cop? No. Ah, uh, yes. I think it was. It is Uta Punjab, okay. where he's the cop, and he's investigating everything and tracking them. Yes. And, yeah, so our first full film where he's the lead, uh, and we know he's a, a big star. So 100 spent spoiler review, that's just how we like to do it. Yep. So if you haven't seen it, you know, if you want, go watch it, then come back, and then you can be not spoiled. If yep. you'd like to be spoiled, you're about to be, you naughty little boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rick, your initial thoughts. My initial thoughts, I didn't write down a paragraph, but mm -hmm. I'll give you a semi-paragraph version, that uh, I think this film is a, is, a, is a movie that has an enormous heart, is passionately undertaken by everyone involved, and has aspects of it that are lacking in cinematic discipline that disassociated me from the film on a technical level. But when it came to the heart of the film and the heart of the people making it, uh, you cannot deny the passion and the, and the authenticity. And some of the things, particularly about uh, just weak expositional, if look up exposition and what it's supposed to be in terms of screenplay writing and how you're supposed to show, not tell, and melodrama, I felt those were things that if those had been uh, more mature in their cinematic discipline, mm -hmm. th this would have been a film I would have been raving about. As it stands, I liked the film. I love the passion and the heart behind it more than anything. Yeah. I was trying to figure, because I did not, I wanted to love this Me film. Me too. I did. Me too. You know how much I love the Punjabi people. You know I, I wanted to love this I film. I wanted to be like, yes. Bon job is here. Right, we we've made it. Especially our first review. Man, I was trying to figure out why I it was I didn't feel that way because it wasn't obviously there was no glaring acting uh, bad stuff in it. There was right. no the cinematography was actually really darn Very good. Nice. I actually loved the songs. I, I loved all the score behind the film. It, but it was something. I'm, I I think it was the writing. It I, was. It was. There were two aspects to it. Yeah. Uh, and I kept writing this over and over again in in terms of exposition. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of poor exposition, okay? It, it's, it's toward the beginning when someone says, we've been locked up here without food or water for two days. Mm, yeah. I'd come here to pray for the well-being of my son. When you use dialogue for exposition, it never works unless it's narration. Yeah. You can get away with it when you have a narrator. Yeah. But in a moment like that, it's much better to let the audience try to figure it out based on what you show us. Because in real life, that's typically not what happens, and you immediately disassociate believability. Yeah. And that so happened a lot. I'd like to talk about the stuff I liked first. Me too. There was actually quite I, and that, I, that's, I said that to Indrani after I watched it. I said, I, I feel bad. It's almost, it's like, uh, I feel like they did everything they could to make the best movie they possibly can, and mm -hmm. I feel bad giving it critiquing, yeah. but I love the art form, so I yeah. can't not critique it. So yeah, yeah let's talk about what so, we love. Uh, 
I thought Dilger did a really good job. I, he's, he, I, I enjoy him as an actor. I do want to know if that was his real hair or if that was a wig as well. Oh. Because I, I, when I first saw it, I was like, I thought he didn't do that. Me too. Or I was if he shocked. did it because of what they did to the character, he wanted to do that. But I also didn't know if it was also a wig or something. That like was that. one of my favorite moments in yeah. the film when I saw him like that. Because when you know what that means mm -hmm. for the character, but especially if he did that for the character, yeah. I thought that was powerful. I didn't know, so you can let me know. But I thought he did a really good job. I did too. I, I, I was I didn't know he was in it, but our, our friend from uh, not our friend, but uh, from um, the run one. Yes, the Punjabi the, guy the, the, um, from uh, Run Bilka uh, uh, Bagh 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 Bagh. Yeah, yes, he has very distinct eyes. I think it is. Is, is it eyes or is it? It's a combination of things. It's the eyes and it's the it's just the face shape. Uh -huh. It's like the minute I saw him, I'm like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. So he, he, I really enjoyed it. I thought the mother did a fantastic job as well. I thought she was really, really strong. Um, so I, it, like I said, it wasn't the acting. Uh, I thought most of the acting did really, really. I love the score. Mm -hmm. Whoever was too. the singer of the, let me see, uh, those composers didn't tell me the singers. I don't know who the singers were because I felt like we we know that whoever the singer was. Yeah, and here moments like this, and this is why it's um, <sighs> melodrama, like like a soap opera. There were mm -hmm. there were a lot of moments where someone says a line that's a that's a like a, a punch to the gut. And it's accentuated by the score going bum bum ba, and the camera holding on them, and they zoom in a little bit. But I don't think it was meant to be cliche, nor do I think it's a, a, a lack. I think everybody did the best they could based on what they know. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I thought so too. But yeah. I, I was more not not to really the score that that because uh, I, I had some of those same issues. But the songs, when there was actually songs, whoever the singer was, I thought yeah. the and they, there wasn't really any dance numbers, obviously. But the who, they had like three or four songs, I, I want to say, of the guy singing yeah. in the background while they were doing something, and I thought those were lovely. Uh, whoever the singer was, and there were some moments that come of like one of my favorite moments of the film was when he puts the bomb on the bus and he looks up and he sees his mom is in the bus. Yeah. And, and pulls it out and has that realization as well as when they pull people off the bus and they line them up and he says, I, I'm, I'm actually bringing his mom's glasses. Mm. And when they chose to do the shot where he, he threw the glasses and then you wonder what's gonna happen and then they chose to take a close up on the glasses on the ground when you hear the bullets going off. Yeah. That attention to wanting to make this as powerful as possible. Yeah was like, it, when it ended, I'm like, oh, I so feel and see the heart behind this, well, you know? And, and knowing that, that the director also did Kasari, which we loved. We loved Kasari. Uh, obviously, you can see his growth, for sure. And, he, and he's relatively young. And that's why when you said Kasari, I immediately said, okay, how many years back was this? Because the growth in the directing, but also, you're right, the writing. The, yeah. It's that exposition uh, is critical. That And... The ex um, bad exposition to, to, to writing is as um, impacting to believability as is cliched acting is uh, to, to acting. Mm -hmm. And, and any time that that happens where, you know, somebody says, <clears throat> where's Dilgit? Um, mm -hmm. Well, as you know, he had that problem with his mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Stuff like that. Yeah. But um, more to uh, like. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the other stuff that I I came in with the name expecting to learn about the massacre of Punjab 1984. Right. I'm wondering if it was called Punjab 1984 just so people would come see it because yeah. outside of the beginning, right, this was not about that event. That if you say Punjab 1984. Right. Every Indian knows what you're talking right, about. Right, like 2611. Yeah. Right. They know what you're talking about. It's it's what happened at the Golden Temple and around that. Right. They obviously made his father um, in a, another issue, because obviously, do you know the story of it? Of what took place? Yeah. Yeah, at the Golden Temple? Yeah. Because, yes, they were, they were apparently a, a terrorist well, that was taking refuge in the Golden Temple, uh -huh. and the government just decided, well... Everybody. Yeah. If we kill them all, we'll get him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I... So, one, I thought the whole Which, film was going to be about that. And, and it, it was more about... And I, I enjoyed the end when they actually showed about all the missing people that went missing yes. because of the false uh, accusation of, of the state. The part of the filmmakers. Um, yes. So I, I enjoyed that. And, and, you know, you get that. But I feel like, you know, 
uh, one, I don't think they did the beginning part justice. Because one, it looks like that the, uh, his dad who went out almost got shot by accident. Um, and when he went to get the water. Yeah, yeah, when in fact it was a lot more heinous. It was far more like the event that took place where everybody was... But it was done by the state. Right. Uh, <laughs> and so I don't know if censorship happened. Right. Or what. Uh, because I know it's a very sensitive, but I was hoping to learn a lot, and I enjoyed learning the little I did. Me too. Uh, but that's something, it was something as, as awful of an event as that. Right. I, I like a film to be as truthful and as powerful as possible with telling the truth of that awful event Correct. that happened. Right. And so some, some of the stuff that, like, the end fight kind of threw me off. Uh, a little bit. Uh, well, with because like one, he, he's not strong enough to bend rhubarb to, in order to be able to choke somebody. No. <laughs> and, and if you look close, if you look close enough, he's not choking. Yeah, he's not. And the stunt work was was the heart was there, but the technicalities were extremely weak. So was yeah. the makeup. Uh, it just the, the you know the fight choreography was not done well and it wasn't executed well. But the heart was behind it. Yeah. Uh, and and. I, I remember seeing that opening sequence and knowing and reading up a little bit about the history of that event. We've been in the Golden Temple. Mm -hmm. I just, it's really hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that that happened. Yeah. And that's something that, that I, happened in that place. And obviously it's not the film's fault because that's not the story that we was trying right. to tell. And that's okay. Um, but that's a story I really want to learn about. Yeah. Because that's, that's an event that, you know, we should know about. That's, that's an awful awful thing that happened. <laughs> and I think there were also some things in this that would be definitively appreciated and adored by Punjabi, Punjabi people. people. Yeah. Uh, like, we can appreciate the, him with his hair yeah. exposed, right? Mm -hmm. But even when he said statements like, uh, I'll, I'll make a bet. If I scream when you torture me, I am not the son of my father. But if I don't scream, you're a bastard. Yeah. And that warrior... It, just like in Kasari, the whole yeah. sick mm -hmm. pride and courage and warrior mind. Yeah. I felt like that was oozing throughout this. And that oh, if yeah. you were Punjabi, exposition, makeup, fight choreography for you would kind of be Wayside. way yeah. to the side. Because what you're getting to see is my culture and my people and my values up on the screen right now for all the world to see. And I would be proud of that if I was Punjabi. Yeah. I would, even with all of that, I would be like, you know what, I'm proud of the film. Yeah. Right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. You know, obviously, with everything, there's probably a bunch of stuff that we, we could not relate probably. with. And Absolutely. Of course. We'd completely miss. Um, but uh, that's, you know, that's just what, it, I came away with wanting to love it, and I was just like, I liked certain parts, but for the most part, I was like, you know, yeah. I probably won't ever watch it again. Right. If or, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't mean I, again, I mean no ill will toward it in any way. And the biggest thing is I see the heart and the love and the passion mm -hmm. behind it. It's almost like, and I don't mean, uh, in this comparison coming to my mind right now, I'm not uh, trying to degrade the film to the level in this example. But I feel like if, if you're, if you're, if Leland were to come to you in two or three years and just show you, dad, look what I just made. Mm -hmm. Everything inside of you would be overflowing with joy over his creation. Mm -hmm. You're not going to nitpick the fact that it's not up to the standards of creative expression that you would expect on a page. And you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel the same way about this film. I can see the the technical things that I that are not right, mm -hmm. but the heart of the creators behind it. I, I, I almost feel bad saying mm -hmm. anything about the film that isn't exemplary because I feel like the heart behind it was so so right yeah and if yeah. there's stuff we missed please uh, please let us know that um, that we're idiots as you uh, I know you will uh, yeah <laughs> but you know it's not gonna deter me from watching another Punjabi film uh, no and again I, I agree with you when you what you said about the acting of everybody in, yeah. the, in there there were no problems his mom I thought was wonderful yeah throughout she was solid throughout mm -hmm. I thought he did really well yeah. all the supporting people with everything that they were given Especially in light of the editing with the music and things being melodramatic. I don't mm -hmm. know how it was directed while they were working, but everybody seemed to be pretty grounded. Yeah. 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 It's, so it's, it's, it's the writing and the, the te some of the technical aspects. That's all. That was basically what it throws you off a little bit uh, when watching the film. And then obviously it being two and a half hours long. 
It yeah, could, it could probably heighten some of the problems. Um, it, it did for me. It yeah. would have, it would have been much easier to swallow some of those things if it had a much shorter runtime. Yeah, but anyways. That's it. That's, it. Uh, that's our first Punjabi review. Give but us more. Please give us more. I know, uh, what is it? Uh, Rangroot? Something? Rangroot. Like, Rangroot yeah. in the name. I believe it still, I believe it also has Diljit. Uh, hold on. Wouldn't surprise me. I think. No, or maybe, the, I don't know. Um, or something else entirely. Also, if there's like a documentary or something you can send us about Punjab 1984. Yeah. I would love to learn about that event. I would too. Um, so Very if it's important. like an event on YouTube or if it's on Netflix or something, please send it our way. And even we've done reactions to stuff that's just about Punjab. You know, if you had a, you had a five or six minute thing about here's some history about, it was great. There was a moment when they said something about Amritsar and I was mm -hmm. like, we've been there. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious food. And we've been at the Golden Temple. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, let us know uh, more Punjabi film, film we should watch next down below and upvote the ones so I can see it and know it and uh, figure out which film from Punjab we should watch next.